I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. And the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. It is a far, far better thing that I do today to help us avoid tackling difficult decisions. Is that an unexpected way to introduce indecision? It is, and we all know what the drivers of indecision are. So what's your point? Do we all know what the drivers of indecision are? Is that a question? No, it's a trick. Oh, I get it. If we don't all know what indecision is, then we're undecided. Right. Okay, then you explain it. Happy to do so, my friend. Indecision is wavering between two or more possible courses of action. Is that the same as faltering? Staying on the fence. Or, and I hesitate to say it. Yes? Hesitation. What do you think about someone who is afraid of not making any decision at all? Well, this is probably the most common form of indecision. This person has no desire to make a choice because of the bad cost of indecision, at least in their minds. They don't want to be stuck with a choice they don't like, and I don't blame them. That sounds familiar. Yes, it does. In fact, this type of indecision is so prevalent that people refer to it as analysis paralysis. Let me ask you this. What if you were paralyzed by indecision from time? Would you still be able to get out of bed? No, I would not. Not if I was literally paralyzed. You wouldn't be able to move your body? Read my lips. I would read your lips, but your lips are paralyzed too. (laughs) Okay, your mouth is healed. That's the least you can do. Are you now satisfied? Did you have a question, John? I did, and I'll ask it again. How long would you last? How long would I last what? Let's say you could move your body, but you couldn't decide anything. How long would you last? With an emergency kit, freaking forever. Okay, so several days, I think you just said. Now, let's say you didn't have an emergency kit. How long would you live without food? Oh, I'm sure I would die within minutes. Yeah, or a couple of months, something like that. We need to work on the detail, me thinks. Exactly. So why do we have such a strong aversion to making choices? Why do we find it so hard to make up our minds? Well, we all have different reasons for avoiding tough future decisions. Some people prefer to wait till everything is settled before making a choice. Others worry that once they make a choice, they won't be satisfied with it. And what about the bad choice thing? There's that too. Some people are concerned that their choice may turn out badly. Like how? Well, for example, some people believe that when they make a decision, they'll regret it later. Yeah, or they might worry that they will lose something important if they take certain actions. Like giving their money to some scam? Like that, which is how a lot of people view investing. But they don't have to know everything, do they? No, they don't. I don't. You don't. What do they have to know? They have to know what they want. Sounds like a goal. That's because it is exactly that. And so, what then do you want, my dear DT? I want it to be simple. Like a game? Yeah, like a game. You like games, don't you? If it has a prize, count me in. What if it has a break? A break is a prize. Well, at least to you it is. Which is all that matters. To you, to me, to you. Despite that, we're going to quickly move into... Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective, because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us. Please head over to the support link in our written show notes. That's the words on your podcast player. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doing level of support, a $4.99 knowing level or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month. Great place to start, whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this for you. And to leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes. You'll go to a site where you can leave a video, audio, or text-only message, depending on how you feel at the moment. 
you can also send us an audio file attached to an email if you use just more than your phone for stuff. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. It's all in there and it's all easy. Before the break, we were, we were, we were what? Can't you decide? Clearly, that's a concern for me right now. Don't mind me as I ignore you. As you wish. I just hope it lets you decide. I'll think about that. Meantime, here are a few thoughts on how to conquer indecision and get things done. Can I interrupt you? You just did. The first thing is to avoid, uh, oh, Samantha. The habit of permitting others to do one's thinking. Yes, and then what? Make sure you have everything required for the job before starting. Like parts? Yeah, like parts. And time with tools, which is also what? Oh, practice. Good boy, devil man. I am not, or is it good man, devil boy? I advocate nothing. But really, don't be too emotional about your decisions. Good. You can overcome indecision by changing the decision boundary. Splain. Okay, when we're faced with a choice between two options... We focus on the benefits of the lower paying option. We ignore the fact that we may not receive any benefit until later. So, the problem isn't just that we don't know what's going to happen in the future. It's also that we don't know how long it will take us to get the benefit. Exactly. But even bigger, when we can't picture ourselves in a situation, like you know, being older or retired, we don't take the future very seriously. We owe it to ourselves to deal with both the short-term and the long-term consequences of our choices. How do we do that? By asking ourselves questions like, what are the possible outcomes? How likely am I to achieve my goals? And will the time required to achieve my goals be worth it? See, you have to add patience, but you also have to measure how much is okay to add in order to reach your goals. Oh, in other words, we set up goals. That sounds yeah. simple enough. Not really. For example, let's say you want to buy a new car. You ask yourself these questions. Will buying the car help me meet my financial goals? Is it likely that I'll be able to afford the car? If I purchase the car, will I be able to maintain it? These questions are not always easy to answer. Sometimes we simply don't know the answers until we've been there. So why doesn't everyone make better decisions? That's too subjective. We are not going there. Correct. We can't go there until we've been there. The definition of insanity involves doing the same things over and over and expecting different results, you know. Sure thing, Einstein. But sometimes people keep making the same decisions and repeating the same mistakes. People do not want to admit that they have made a mistake. And sometimes people just cannot easily overcome their indecision. Was this tested? It was. People were asked to play two versions of a simple gambling game. I permit you to speak of this more. Oh, that's a relief, my liege. One version had an immediate payoff, but the other version paid off only after several rounds. What happened? People who played the game with the delayed reward ended up playing longer. They kept trying to win money from the game. Why would they do that? Because they didn't think they could lose. And that is a great attitude. So they were willing to risk losing money rather than admit they might lose? Yes. This sounds like a flaw in human nature. There are books on the topic. Like? Like why smart people make big money mistakes and how to correct them. Or how we know it isn't so. Yeah. Both of those are by a behavioral economics researcher named Thomas Gelovich. Why don't we all just go ahead and gamble? Because we don't want to lose. Oh, right. Um, let's finish up this act with some ways to overcome this tendency. Good idea, DT. One way is to use a decision tree. A decision tree shows a series of steps. Each step represents one question. At each step, we choose whether to continue down a path or move on to another path. Eventually, we arrive at the end of the tree where we either reach a goal or stop. Okay, sounds good. Another approach is to use probabilities. Probabilities help us understand which situations are most likely to occur. So, when we're deciding between two courses of action, 
We should consider the probability of success for each course. Absolutely. And the third method is, wait, you just said two courses. Yes, three methods. Oh, okay. There are three ways to follow the two roads. Got it? Yeah, thanks. That simples it. No problem. That's what we do here. So, what else did we learn about overcoming indecision? Well, it seems we learned that our own personal experiences influence what we believe. Our environment also influences how we see things. For example, if someone tells you, I'm sure this part is fascinating, John. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to a hard podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe to day whatever app and from whatever place you like and don't just try to subscribe there is no try there is only do we're changing the way we look at things and remember that's good eso es bueno civil also remember this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective coaching happiness our call to action is right in the show notes find it and you win too can i simple that por supuesto of course just Simple it. Please make sure your seat belts are fastened and your tray tables are in their upright position. And make sure simple is a verb like Google is a verb. Oh, joy. Tis my favorite time of the podcast. The tie-in part? Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Good luck. That is what this is all about. It is indeed what this is all about. Bringing our attitudes to our money. Appealing. To that old brain thingy again? Yep. Which makes me wonder, why the heck not just get rid of the old brain thingy? That could be a little awkward, DT. But it isn't the mind. True, but it's a big tool of the mind. But that's not my tie-in, so don't worry about that. Go on. So let's look at the topic. Yes, let's. Let's begin with the word indecision as it relates to investing. Indecision. We've been talking about it for quite some time now. It. Because, uh, because it's one of the words that people use when they're trying to explain their lack of confidence or lack of knowledge. Words. Stop doing that. Especially if they were caught up in an experience where they didn't know what to do. Caught. Or maybe they had a bad experience with something that left them feeling confused or uncertain. Bad. Mm. They might even have a bold vision where DT is revealed as, Okay, I'll stop, but you must go on. Thank you, I will. Without the crazy person who sometimes is you. As long as you tell a story with a correct choice. And I shall. The way we defeat the indecision monster... Is this him landing us now? ...is to lean right into it. To what? Lean right into it. Know that there are many monsters, but it's okay. Yes, it's okay, because we're calmly picking them off one by one. Which I'm guessing is how we should do investments. Yep, whether it's real estate, crypto, familiar stocks and bonds, or even something less understood, like we'll hear about next week. We do them one at a time. Calmly knowing our goal. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, Script Consultant, Open AI, Language Consultant, Ever Evolving, Media Expert, Favor Abassi E.K., Psychologist, William James, Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Barrett, Sound Designer, Goodly Amo Marconi. 
videographer alfred hitchcock inspiration many podcasts and other sources and of course napoleon hill we also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts and get ebooks and other great stuff you can send us a video audio or text message but of course you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web to actually get links and stuff and those clickable links are in the show notes and before we forget the artificial intelligence or ai voices you hear in our work come from google amazon poly open ai and the online tone generator linked in the show notes finally you can find us on prodmatch.com and matchmaker.fm where we consider guests and guesting on other pods and really finally the music for our pods comes from cute by ben sound and from piano background by nick simon adams the sound effects credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Canoe CG, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Good Ink. Yes. That's his or her name. All on freesound.org.